Hey guys, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but this is gonna be a video of, you know, me working at my job. It's like a day in the life of a forklift driver, so I really can't be recording at work, so you can just see some clips that are like cut off early or the video is gonna be short, but it, there's a reason behind it. It's because I can't record at work, so I tried my best. Hope you guys enjoyed. Watch to the end. So here, as you can see, when I walk in, there is a TV set up, which will tell us all of our hours. As you can see, they're all 11. Okay, so after I have logged in, it takes me into the screen and shows me where all the unfinished work is. And that's where I need to go to get the papers and start working. All right, people. So this is called a paper pick. We usually have it in the system, which is the little computer here that we have, you know, with the keyboard. It's not touchscreen or anything, but yeah. We have a paper pick to do, which could last, depends how fast you are, which could last 30 minutes, 45, an hour or two, depending on what company you have. So this is going to Costco. You see Costco? Costco, I love doing Costco because they only buy in bulk. So when they buy in bulk, you see, this is where I have to go, CDC, to pay. this is how much they want. In bulk, which is right there, is one whole unit. So I have to grab mostly all of them in there. But the reason I love Costco is because Walmart, Target, you know, all the other stores, they like to pick in layers. Like, so I have to pick one layer, so I have to pick it instead of, you know, grabbing it from, from one whole unit. So that's why I love so yeah This pops up on the screen, make sure everything's good. I need one, which is one unit, so it's good. And I press enter, and right away, I make sure I circle one of these so I don't have to get confused. Because once I circle it, I know that I grabbed the product already, so we'll do the same thing with the next one. Boop. Make sure everything is good. One unit, yep, enter, do the same thing. So I just need one more left, and then I'll be good. Then I'll start off the next one, which is CBF number six. Now, since I have finished scanning both of the units, it's time to go back to the bay where I have to drop it off. But first, I have to wrap both of them together. So, you guys are probably wondering why I'm wrapping the units together. The reason behind that is because Costco puts them on the top racks where the customers shop at. So to ensure the safety of the customers, Costco makes us wrap it for them. Now, since I finished wrapping both of the units together, as you can see, I'm grabbing the pallets and I'm putting them in the bay where the loaders can grab them and load them into the semi trucks. guys so i just finished putting all the units in the line i'll show you how it looks so this is how it's supposed to look so now since i finished i have to grab all the paperwork and i have to fill some of these out not all of them i have to fill certain ones out and this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Now, I go inside my clipboard. And then I grab a load tag. I have to 
also feel this honey. So the finished paperwork goes under the saran wrap and as you can see I'm writing out the last five numbers of the shipment so the loaders can see which shipment they have to load. Okay guys, now since I have finished doing the units, I have moved on to a pick pallet. As you can see, I'm scanning the barcode. Once I've scanned the barcode, I position myself into a comfortable spot where I can grab the pick line boxes and put it onto my pallet. Once I have finished doing that, I have to do a count back. The count back is count all the boxes onto the pallet that I picked it from on mine and make sure everything is correct. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was a pretty short video, but please like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time.